Hi everyone. I want to do a quick dive into a question I got from someone in our last live stream who essentially asked why I didn't use the convert option when I was uh, converting my CMG from the classic service to the VM scale set. Well, I just didn't have the convert option available. And that led me to investigate why I didn't have the convert option available. And so firstly, a massive thank you to Paul Wynn Stanley for pointing me in the right direction on this. He has a fantastic blog series on the CMG and I'll link it in the comments below. Also, do me a favor and hit the like button on this video before you forget, it really helps. Right, I have three CMGs here. The first is a classic CMG with the cloudapp.net service name. Let me show you. So this one here. And so this one is, I've recreated this one because I had changed this one to the VM scale set, but I've put it back the way it was just so we can look at it and, and, and assess it. So I just want to quickly show you the config. It's using cloudapp.net as the service name, as I mentioned. So I'll quickly go into this. And so you can see it's uh, it's using the Azure Public Cloud and it's using this cloudapp.net name here and that's the service name as well. So the deployment name will be cloudapp.net, which is fine. And then gmcmg cloudapp.net just there. So that's pretty much it. It's connected to my management point. So I'm just gonna run the connection analyzer and show you that it works. Okay, great, so that works. So now let's see if we can convert this CMG to the VM scale set. Now I know the, the convert option is meant to be right at the top here, but it isn't here. So let's take a look at the other CMG where um, I'm not using the cloudapp.net. So if I right click on this, we have a convert option right there. Okay, so clearly that has an impact on whether you can use the convert option or not, because the only difference between this uh, CMG and this CMG is the fact that there is a there's a, a custom domain name being used here. They're both using my internal PKI for the certificates, so that's not an impact. And yeah, the, the only difference is that domain name. Now, in order to get this second CMG working, the one that uses my custom domain, I did need to create a CNAME in DNS. So that was a prerequisite to get that working. I won't show you that just now, but the thing I do need to do is switch over that management point to use the to use the second uh, CMG. So I'm gonna do that now. So as you can see, if we go into connection points on this management, on this CMG here, you can see there's no uh, management point assigned. So we have to just change that in sites and uh, in, in the site system here. So over to my cloud management gateway connection point, I'm just gonna switch that over to my second um, CMG, this 02 here, the one that I'm using my get modern uh, domain for. We'll do that. That'll take a little while to sync and I'll just kick this sync off by right clicking and choosing synchronize and that'll update that service and we'll give it a little while for that to work and at the end of that all I'm going to do is run the connection analyzer to show that it can work using this um, this custom domain. In the meantime let's just take a quick look at the documentation that support this. So you can see there are a few things that you can't do with a conversion. So when we do get into the convert menu, you will be able to see that you can change some of the information about the VM, the CRL change, uh, you, whether it can serve content, uh, but you won't be able to change the Azure environment, the subscription, the app that is uh, the Azure AD app, the region or the resource group. So that might be a big deal if you, um, if you were limited by the region with your original CMG, um, because there was only a few regions that were supported, you're not going to be able to change that when you convert it to a scale set. For me, there's no region in in my in my area at all. It's it's all in the US or um, or, or other places that are are nowhere near um, Europe or uh, or the UK. So being limited in the same way by being unable to switch the region might be a deal breaker. So back over to this. Just at the bottom here, you can see that it says if your CMG's service name is cloudapp.net, you can't convert it to a VM skill set. And it mentions why, you know, if you're using cloudapp.net, Microsoft own that domain, so you're not going to be able to do that switch uh, from the classic service, which is cloudapp.net, to the VM skill set service, which uses the, 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 more, uh, the more modern Azure service to, um, to do that. So... Yeah, it's down to DNS is the main problem. And when the conversion process just doesn't support it when you use cloudapp.net. And what they suggest you do is exactly what I did in my previous video, which is to just 
remove the old one and create a new one, which is very simple. But the advice really it says here, it says it says consider using your own domain name instead of the Microsoft domain. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much what we should do here, and that is essentially what I'm going to be showing you in this video. So I guess it's worth thinking about why an organization might use the cloud app domain rather than the which is the default rather than the their own custom domain. I mean, I did this to save time because it's a lab and I wasn't hoping to show you all of the stuff around DNS, but many organizations do this too, whether it's to save money on a third party certificate or as Tim Beer on Twitter suggests, because finding the person who can buy certs in a large company can be a pain. So I'm not gonna go through the process of converting the CMG in this video, that deserves its own video. But what I will do is just quickly show you the connection analyzer on this service once it finishes upgrading. Okay, great, so that's finished upgrading. I'm just gonna to go to the connection analyzer, sign in and just show that it works because I've been burned in the past by it not working after finishing a video like this. Okay, superb, so this is using my my uh, custom domain name of getmodern.co.uk to use the, the CMG server. So that's, that's brilliant, it does work. What I wanna show in the next video is converting that to the VM skill set using the convert option uh, because it should work if I'm using my custom domain. So see you then.